When it comes to helping your child identify their emotions, experts suggest try to identify where some of your child's bad attitudes come from. Mm. One dad noticed his son's frustration worsened after playing video games. Perhaps your child is mimicking the behavior of someone else. Also, try identifying a thinking error that needs to change. You can offer the insight of an objective outsider. Um, ladies, what are your thoughts? And do you think parents fail to consider the emotions uh, felt by children? Uh, Mama. Yes, I do. Sometimes, I think, if you're working all day and you come home and your child is feeling a certain way, you either you don't have the capacity to deal with it or you can't identify because you're too busy. Did you do your homework? Let's get dinner. Oh my God, you need what tomorrow morning? Yeah. You know, I think sometimes we can miss it. I know for me growing up, we were seen but not heard. Yeah. Mm. So therefore, I don't know about, you know, talking about your feelings. My mom didn't know that. I think your pa parents do the best they can with what they have. And if they don't have the emotional capacity to parent you, it's not that they don't want to do it, they just don't have it. Yeah. Yep. I remember back in when I was growing up, many, many, many moons ago. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know, parents didn't really have like what they have today. No. You know, they didn't have like a handbook. They didn't know about therapists, especially in the projects in yes. the black community. Yeah, there's so I mean, much more was, insight now. It was a lot happening, and it's like, you, like you said, Garcelle, it was like you were just told, stay in the place of a child. Mm -hmm. You know, don't don't be an adult business. It's yeah. like, it was those little cliche sayings that we remember to this day. Yeah. But like I can always remember, my mom would just, she would just ask me for an hour. Like when she come home from work, just please, just an hour. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? And so, right. but there was no, I'm so happy that now we're talking about this because it's going to help our the next generation. generation. Yes, you know what I mean? yes, Absolutely. yes, yes, yes. Because they need it. They need I it. I always find it so strange that we have adults that can't control their emotions mm -hmm. and lose their temper, tempers and things like that, yet we expect it from children. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? I think there's also something to figure out, like sitting down and having a conversation and trying to figure out what yeah. role do you play mm -hmm. in the things that you're seeing act out? Is it that this child needs attention? Mm -hmm. Like, I think we have to take our ego out of it and our frustration out of it and really look to patience and be like, okay, also, have I enabled yes. any of this behavior? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have I allowed it? Um, I think there's times when, as adults, I think it's natural, even when I've been with my nieces and they're trying to show me a million things and I'm doing text messages, how do you think that affects a child? Now they've got to speak louder. Yeah, right, now to get your gotta, attention. Yeah, I've had my niece literally be like, like, hello! Like, right. And that can be viewed as disrespect or whatever, right. but it's just that she wants my attention. Yeah. Exactly. And a lot of my nieces and nephews, their mothers or fathers observe me when I'm talking to them. Mm. And they say, you talk to them just like an adult. Right. And I'm like, well, no, I, I talk to them like a human being. Right, They're just exactly. a little human being. Yeah, they're just a little exactly. human being, yeah. but yeah. I talk to them and I yeah. give them the respect. Yeah. If something is wrong, I find out what's wrong. I don't go, because, you know, back in the day, we couldn't say It's things. just a bad No, you couldn't yeah, say anything you know? at all, but I yeah. think it's also okay to say, you know what, yesterday I really wasn't present with you. Yes. And I can tell you were having a hard time. You have my attention now. Tell me what you were feeling. Yes. I think you can always go back. Yep. You can always go back. You yes. don't have to just let that day go. You can go back and, and fix it. But that's yep. also leading by example that if you did something wrong, it's okay to apologize. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Yep. Yeah. Always. We always learning, y'all.